Hey, what's up everyone? This is Adriana for today's iPhone. Did you know, did you know you can install Android on an iPhone 2G or 3G and it's not just any version of Android, it's Android 2.2 Froyo. You can get it on your handset and you don't even need to connect it to your computer. So the news broke this week that that was possible and since we have an iPhone 3G laying around, we thought we'd give it a shot. So this is only going to work on the iPhone 2G or the iPhone 3G running uh, various versions of iOS 3 and iOS 4. We're going to start with launching the Cydia app there. So we're going to need something called Bootlace 2.1. Now if you jailbreak your phone using the jailbreakme.com hack then you got to take note. Bootlace 2.1 only works with Pawnage Tool, Red Snow, or Black Rain. So you need to have a handset that was jailbroken with one of those three jailbreaking tools in order for this to work. Wow, that does take a while, doesn't it? Come on. Okay, so we're in Cydia now. We're going to hit the Manage tab, and we're going to go over to Sources. We need to add a repo to our source list to uh, get the bootlace. So um, we're going to bring up the uh, Enter City app URL window. We're going to type in repo.neonkoala.co.uk. Now we're going to hit the Add Source button, and it'll add this to our list of sources. All right, so we're going to return to Cydia, and we're going to uh, Basically, we're going to go into the repo that we just added. Hit done. Okay, we go in, then we tap on bootlace, which should show up right away, and we're going to install that. When it's done, we're going to back out of Cydia and come back to the home screen, and we should find the bootlace icon. Thanks, dude. This is my friend. He's uh, doing all the hands on demo stuff for me while I narrate. Downloading kernel. Do, 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 do. Okay, when it's all done, you get reboot required. Let's reboot that. And uh, it's basically just going to shut your phone off and then turn it back on. So, um, well, hello there, little pineapple logo. Okay, so after all that, do we finally get Android? No. All of that was to install Bootlace, and that's the tool that's actually going to let us install iDroid, or the Android operating system. Okay, click the OK button on the welcome screen, and you tap on the Open iBoot tab below, hit install. You're going to get a little warning, it's basically to tell you not to close the app or let it power down while it's in the process of this, otherwise you're going to bork your phone. So when it's done, you come back to this screen right here, and in the bottom right, you got iDroid and you just click the install button. Another warning. Okay, well, basically they want you to hook up your device to power because this could take a little while and if it runs out of power, closes down, then it could bork your phone. And they're serious because they've said it twice now. That's why we've got ours docked. Now when that's done, uh, you're going to click on the Quick Boot tab and tap on the Android icon. Warning, this will reboot your device into Android immediately. Are you sure? Yes! Yes, we are sure. Let's finally see Android running on the iPhone. Now, it looks like it's rebooted, which it should. And some techified stuff starting to pop up on screen there. Okay. And more techified stuff. Oh, oh, Android logo. Okay, so um, looks like we're making progress. Well, all right, finally, the moment we've been waiting for. Look at that little Android dude holding the apple, isn't he cute? All right, so we're on the home screen. Um, looks like you got, I mean, the icons look uh, like Android icons, clearly. Um, let's see, whoops, maybe it's a little too responsive here. Okay, I'm under, wow, it's, it's actually a little, uh, a little laggy. Um, some of the things that I tap kind of like doesn't really show up until a moment later or I tap something and 
it switches out and something else gets activated. So it's it's a little bit buggy. Maybe it's because it's an older hardware. Widgets! Oh, how I've longed for you! Nice to see you. Let's keep swiping through. Oh, there's a camera. Let's see what happens. Okay, weird grid pops up and oh crashes. Shoot, I wanted to see all those really cool Android camera controls. Well, maybe it'll work via the gallery. SD card unmounted or no? Oh. <laughs> all right, as iPhone users, we know there is no SD card for us, but um, looks like the gallery application works. Maybe the camera feature. Fingers crossed. Nope. 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 Okay, it's crashed. If anyone out there has tried this and actually got their camera app to work, please let us know. There's some hardware redirection going on. I'm that sleep wake button is actually sending me back a screen. Now I got I'm um, in the app tray now and super user. All right, uh, the icons, the font, everything in here is just screams Android. Um, what do you got? You got browser, calculator, calendar, camera, clock, contacts, dev tools, email, gallery, messaging, music, phone, search settings. Spare parts speech recorder. What's not in here is Android Market. That's interesting. Okay, settings menu. Uh, yep, uh, this is definitely the Android UI. Um, you got all your different settings in here accessibility, voice input and output, SD card, phone storage. And uh, what else we got? We'll go back. What does the home button do? Oh, home button. Okay, That's, those are your menu options. Got add wallpaper search, edit, settings, etc. Huh, not bad. Oh, oh, I'm hitting the lower volume button. And look at that. Um, so the upper volume button sends you into the phone app. And the lower volume button sent you into what what looks kind of like an expose type thing, but it's actually a feature of Android. Where you can look at all your pages in one one view messaging okay let's see what text messaging looks like uh yep it looks like vanilla android stock keyboard uh no swipe or anything like that of course not didn't expect it but you never know very responsive actually if there was any sort of lag happening before it seems to have gone away now now there's this other neat thing iBoot will give you, but I have to reboot the device to uh, to show you. Okay. You see that? Now you can switch between iOS, Android, it's even got a console option. But uh, yeah, just because you have one OS on here doesn't mean you can't enjoy the other one too. When we finished, we popped the SIM card back in the iPhone 3G we were using and it said SIM card locked. Now at and actually has a fix for this and so if you want to know more about it, hit the post at todaysiphone.com that's listed in the description below and we'll tell you how to get the pin code that you need for that. Uh, unfortunately, this didn't solve all our problems. While we can make calls without worry, we can't receive them. So if you did this hack and you got your phone working in two directions, let us know in the comments below.